Sati, Wikipedia article audio. Sati Sanskrit, SMA superscript 1 TI is mindfulness or awareness, a spiritual or psychological faculty that forms an essential part of Buddhist practice. It is the first factor of the seven factors of enlightenment. Correct or right mindfulness is the seventh element of the Noble Eightfold Path. Definition Translations Pali Sanskrit Chinese Alternate translations Practice Anapanasati Satipa superscript 1a superscript 1 ha na Vipassana Samprajā plus or minus a, a pramada and atapa Bear attention A Eurogamas Mindfulness Notes Sources the Buddhist term translated into English as mindfulness originates in the Pali term sati and in its Sanskrit counterpart SMA superscript 1 TI. According to Robert Scharf, the meaning of these terms has been the topic of extensive debate and discussion. SMA superscript 1 TI originally meant to remember, to recollect, to bear in mind as in the Vedic tradition of remembering sacred texts. The term sati also means to remember. In the Satipi Iha and Asutta the term sati means to remember the dharmas, whereby the true nature of phenomena can be seen. Scharf refers to the Mylan Dipanha, which explained that the arisement of sati calls to mind the wholesome dhammas such as the four establishments of mindfulness, the five faculties, the five powers, the seven awakening factors, the noble eightfold path, and the attainment of insight. According to Rupert Gethin, should be understood as what allows awareness of the full range and extent of Dhammas, Sati is an awareness of things in relation to things, and hence an awareness of their relative value. Applied to the Satipi Iha Nas, Presumably what this means is that sati is what causes the practitioner of yoga to remember that any feeling he may experience exists in relation to a whole variety or world of feelings that may be skillful or unskillful, with faults or faultless, relatively inferior or refined, dark or pure. Scharf further notes that this has little to do with bare attention, the popular contemporary interpretation of sati since it entails, among other things, the proper discrimination of the moral valence of phenomena as they arise. According to Paul Williams, referring to Eric Frau Wallner, mindfulness provided the way to liberation, constantly watching sensory experience in order to prevent the arising of cravings which would power future experience into rebirths. According to Vedder, Dhyana may have been the original core practice of the Buddha, which aided the maintenance of mindfulness. The Buddhist term translated into English as mindfulness originates in the Pali term sati and in its Sanskrit counterpart SMA superscript 1 TI. Translators rendered the Sanskrit word as trenpa in Tibetan and as niana in Chinese. The Pali language scholar Thomas William Rhys Davids first translated Sati in 1881 as English mindfulness in Sama Sati Right Mindfulness, the active, watchful mind. Noting that Daniel John Gogarly initially rendered Sama Sati as correct meditation, Davids explained. Sati is literally memory but is used with reference to the constantly repeated phrase mindful and thoughtful, and means that activity of mind and constant presence of mind which is one of the duties most frequently inculcated on the good Buddhist. Henry Alabaster, in The Wheel of the Law, Buddhism illustrated from Siamese sources by the modern Buddhist, A Life of Buddha, and an account of the Frabat, 
had earlier defined satipatthan slash samritai upasthana as the act of keeping oneself mindful. The English term mindfulness already existed before it came to be used in a Buddhist context. It was first recorded as mindfulness in 1530, as mindfulness in 1561, and mindfulness in 1817. Morphologically earlier terms include mindful, mindfully, and the obsolete mindiness. John D. Dunn, an associate professor at Emory University whose current research focuses especially on the concept of mindfulness in both theoretical and practical contexts, asserts that the translation of SATI and SMA superscript 1TI as mindfulness is confusing and that a number of Buddhist scholars have started trying to establish retention as the preferred alternative. Bhikkhubodhi also points to the meaning of sati as memory. The word derives from a verb, sarati, meaning a euroito remember a euro and occasionally in Pali sati is still explained in a way that connects it with the idea of memory. But when it is used in relation to meditation practice, we have no word in English that precisely captures what it refers to. An early translator cleverly drew upon the word mindfulness, which is not even in my dictionary. This has served its role admirably, but it does not preserve the connection with memory, sometimes needed to make sense of a passage. The Sanskrit word SMA superscript 1 TIAAN. A registered trademark ANA with grave A literally means that which is remembered and refers both to mindfulness in Buddhism and a category of metrical texts in Hinduism, considered second in authority to the Rudi scriptures. Munir Munir Williams S. Sanskrit English Dictionary differentiates eight meanings of SMA superscript 1 TIAAN. A registered trademark ANA with grave A, remembrance, reminiscence, thinking of or upon calling to mind, memory. Buddhist scholars translated SMA superscript 1 TI with the Chinese word Nian A study, read aloud, think of, remember, remind. Nian is commonly used in modern standard Chinese words such as Guan Nian E Euro A concept, idea, Huai Nian A E A cherish the memory of, think of, Nian Chu A A E read, study, and Niantuae thought, idea, intention. Two specialized Buddhist terms are Nianfoae one half chant the name of Buddha, pray to Buddha and Nianjing a si chant slash recite sutras. This Chinese character Nian a is composed of Jin a now, this and Xin a heart, mind. Bernhard Karl Gren graphically explains Nian meaning reflect, think, to study, learn by heart, remember, recite, read a euro to have a present to a the mind. The Chinese character Nian or Nian A is pronounced as Korean Yam or Ya M I one fourth, Japanese A with tilde. A with tilde superscript 3 or Nan, and Vietnamese Nia M. A dictionary of Chinese Buddhist terms gives basic translations of Nian, recollection, memory, to think on, reflect, repeat, in tone, a thought, a moment. The Digital Dictionary of Buddhism gives more detailed translations of Nian mindfulness, memory. The terms Sati slash Smriti have been translated as According to Paul Williams, referring to Eric Frau Wallner, mindfulness provided the way to liberation, constantly watching sensory experience in order to prevent the arising of cravings which would power future experience into rebirths. Mindfulness is an antidote to delusion, and is considered as such one of the powers that contribute to the attainment of nirvana. The faculty of mindfulness becomes a power in particular when it is coupled with clear comprehension of whatever is taking place. 
According to Vedder, Dhyana may have been the original core practice of the Buddha, which aided the maintenance of mindfulness. Nirvana is a state of being in which greed, hatred and delusion have been overcome and abandoned, and are absent from the mind. A Euro and a Panasati, meaning mindfulness of breathing, is a form of Buddhist meditation now common to the Tibetan, Zen, Tiantai, and Theravada schools of Buddhism, as well as Western-based mindfulness programs. Anapanasati means to feel the sensations caused by the movements of the breath in the body, as is practiced in the context of mindfulness. According to tradition, Anapanasati was originally taught by the Buddha in several sutras including the Ayuranapanasati Sutta. The Buddha advocated that one should establish mindfulness in one's day-to-day -day life, maintaining as much as possible a calm awareness of one's body, feelings, mind, and dharmas. The practice of mindfulness supports analysis resulting in the arising of wisdom. A key innovative teaching of the Buddha was that meditative stabilization must be combined with liberating discernment. The Satipa Superscript 1A Superscript 1HA NA Sutta is an early text dealing with mindfulness. Vipassana is commonly used as a synonym for Vipassana meditation, in which Satipatthana, four foundations of mindfulness or Anapanasati, mindfulness of breathing, is used to become aware of the impermanence of everything that exists. Vipassana in the Buddhist tradition means insight into the true nature of reality. In the Theravadan context, this entails insight into the three marks of existence, namely the impermanence of and the unsatisfactoriness of every conditioned thing that exists, and non-self. In Mahayana contexts, it entails insight into what is variously described as sunyata, dharmata, the inseparability of appearance and emptiness, clarity and emptiness, or bliss and emptiness. Vipassana is commonly used as one of two poles for the categorization of types of Buddhist practice, the other being samatha. Though both terms appear in the Sutta Pitaka, Gombrich and Brooks argue that the distinction as two separate paths originates in the earliest interpretations of the Sutta Pitaka, not in the Suttas themselves. Various traditions disagree which techniques belong to which pole. According to the contemporary Theravada orthodoxy, Samatha is used as a preparation for Vipassana pacifying the mind and strengthening the concentration in order to allow the work of insight, which leads to liberation. Vipassana meditation has gained popularity in the West through the modern Buddhist Vipassana movement, modeled after Theravada Buddhism meditation practices, which employs Vipassana and Anapana meditation as its primary techniques and places emphasis on the teachings of the Satipa Superscript 1A Superscript 1HA NA Sutta. In Buddhist practice, mindfulness also includes Sampraja plus or minus A, meaning clear comprehension and Apramita meaning vigilance. All three terms are sometimes translated as mindfulness but they all have specific shades of meaning. In a publicly available correspondence between Bhikkhu Bodhi and B. Alan Wallace, Bodhi has described Ven. Nyanaponika Thera's views on right mindfulness and Sampaja a plus or minus a plus or minus a as follows. He held that in the proper practice of right mindfulness, Sati has to be integrated with Sampaja a plus or minus a plus or minus a, clear comprehension, and it is only when these two work together that right mindfulness can fulfill its intended purpose. Recollection To recall, remember. That which is remembered. The function of remembering. The operation of the mind of not forgetting an object. Awareness, Concentration Mindfulness of the Buddha, as in Pure Land Practice 
In Abhidharmakoa a theory, one of the ten omnipresent factors AAOE degree AE superscript 3. In Yoga Sense CARA, one of the five object dependent mental factors A degree A yen A scent, settled recollection. To ascertain one's thoughts, to think within one's mind. To contemplate, meditative wisdom, mind, consciousness, a thought, a thought moment, an instant of thought, patience, forbearance. In the Satipa superscript 1a superscript 1 ha n a sutta, sati and sampaja a plus or minus a plus or minus a are combined with a tapa, or ardency, and the three together comprise yonaso manisakara, appropriate attention or wise reflection. A a n A registered trademark a yen a with grave a yen A a yen a a three fourth a a a three fourth Georges Dreyfus has expressed unease with the definition of mindfulness as bare attention or non-elaborative, non-judgmental, present-centered awareness, stressing that mindfulness in Buddhist context means also remembering, which indicates that the function of mindfulness also includes the retention of information. Dreyfus concludes his examination by stating, he identification of mindfulness with bare attention ignores or, at least, underestimates the cognitive implications of mindfulness, its ability to bring together various aspects of experience so as to lead to the clear comprehension of the nature of mental and bodily states. By overemphasizing the non-judgmental nature of mindfulness and arguing that our problems stem from conceptuality, Contemporary authors are in danger of leading to a one-sided understanding of mindfulness as a form of therapeutically helpful spacious quietness. I think that it is important not to lose sight that mindfulness is not just a therapeutic technique but is a natural capacity that plays a central role in the cognitive process. It is this aspect that seems to be ignored when mindfulness is reduced to a form of non-judgmental present-centered form of awareness of Oni Euro trademark s experiences. Robert H. Scharf notes that Buddhist practice is aimed at the attainment of correct view, not just bare attention. Mahaja Euro trademark s technique did not require familiarity with Buddhist doctrine did not require adherence to strict ethical norms, and promised astonishingly quick results. This was made possible through interpreting sati as a state of bare awareness a euro the unmediated, non-judgmental perception of things as they are, uninflected by prior psychological, social or cultural conditioning. This notion of mindfulness is at variance with pre-modern Buddhist epistemologies in several respects. Traditional Buddhist practices are oriented more toward acquiring correct view and proper ethical discernment, rather than no view and a non-judgmental attitude. J. Garfield, quoting Shanti Deva and other sources, stresses that mindfulness is constituted by the union of two functions calling to mind and vigilantly retaining in mind. He demonstrates that there is a direct connection between the practice of mindfulness and the cultivation of morality a euro at least in the context of Buddhism from which modern interpretations of mindfulness are stemming. The a Eurogamas of early Buddhism discuss ten forms of mindfulness. The Akadara a Eurogama has According to Nan Huajin, the Akadara A Eurogama emphasizes mindfulness of breathing more than any of the other methods, and provides the most specific teachings on this one form of mindfulness. Mindfulness practice, inherited from the Buddhist tradition, is being employed in psychology to alleviate a variety of mental and physical conditions including obsessive-compulsive disorder, anxiety, and in the prevention of relapse in depression and drug addiction.